right, everybody, what do we got going on here? Joseph, a Green Mountain Gold Trap. I had a few uh, viewers request that I do the DIY on the dive hookah. So, here we are in the Green Mountain Gold Trap shop. And we have all the parts. Everything came. I got my 100 feet of line, the air hose, regulator, and mask yesterday, but... The mask is cracked, so I'm dealing with that right now. They're being pretty decent about it, so we'll see what happens. A pretty good mask, kind of funky looking, but boy, I'll tell you, it seals to your face really good. And even though it's got a crack in it, um, when I put it on my face and I try to breathe in, no air comes. I mean, it just sucks to my face big time. So, but I don't know if I, you know, I just don't want to mess with that. So, um, you don't necessarily have to go with 100 feet of line. I'm going to cut this in half and have 50 and then I can actually rig this up for two divers possibly but anyway so you got your air hose your regulator and you got your mask and I'm going with um, 3 inch instead of 4 inch for the reserve air tank <clears throat> and then of course your tote before you get your 90 degree angles if you get your stuff at Home Depot, you can get everything right at Home Depot or Lowe's. And I'm sure Lowe's also sells totes. I would suggest picking out your tote first. Um, this is higher than what I wanted it to be, but the only other ones that were there that were what I was looking for were black. And I just didn't want to go with black because you, you know, you don't want to, you're going to be putting this pump inside here in the battery. Battery doesn't heat up, but the pump will heat up so you want to you don't want it to get hot so choose your tote first and then figure out what you want for your 90 degree angles because there's different types and this one this type fit around the corners good so I want these 90 degrees this will be the vent um, I'm mulling whether or not I want to use that or go with another idea I have but we'll cross that bridge when we get there and then of course you've got your your fittings hose barbs um, these will go through the short ends one side and then the other side opposite of where we are now um, we'll just say this side will be the pump will be over here inside the tote a hose will come out up in here totally sealed and come down and go into this or you know go into the, the hose barb and that will be the air getting pumped into the tank and on the opposite side I'll drill a hole and have another one sticking out and of course these these will thread inside the pipe and then of course totally sealed <coughs> and that will be where you connect your airline and regulator and of course the pump is a Boyu ACQ 910 it's the biggest one they sell and it pumps some pretty good air and of course alligator clips I had to pick those up and I've already wired them on to connect the battery and I ended up going with a 12 volt 10 amp hour um, Dakota lithium life PO4 battery um, they sell them at dakotalithium.com and it's you know it's lightweight that's the whole idea is to try to make this as lightweight as possible and this is supposed to last quite a while and even if it doesn't what do I have over here let's take a little walk down the shop here turn some lights on so you can see alright I picked up a small generator so if need be I'll bring it out once with a full charge of the battery and see how last it long how long it lasts and if I need to then I'll haul this thing in as well to charge the battery so I'm perfectly set up so let's get building shall we Alright, 
so the first thing I want to do is get my tank taken care of that way it has plenty of time to cure so let's go ahead and turn this on <laughs> Switch out drill bits. Okay. The portion of the hose barb that's going through is half inch. those issues. But it still drilled the hole and it didn't mess it up. How do you like them out? Let's see if we can do that again. Right. Hold it a little tighter, that's all. are nice and clean. We don't want any debris, <clears throat> dust, or anything like that, so I'll be using my air compressor to totally blow this out afterwards as well. I might not even need those pieces on the inside to tighten it down. It's going to be good and tight. sure that these pieces don't have any debris in them. Good. I'm going to use Loctite Marine Adhesive Sealant to go around the inside and the outside. Hopefully not plug up the hole. Alright, so there's the inside. Probably can't see it because the lighting's horrible, but the inside is sealed and the outside is sealed. So I'll go ahead and take care of the next one. There's no need in you seeing both. Back in a bit. Okay. Those are done. Now I'm just making sure that there's no have any there's no anything in the rest of the stuff. Just want to put this together. Just want to put a bead around. 
on the inside of these. The guy who was kind enough in Australia, forgive me, I don't remember your name, um, but I'm going to be linking his DIY also, but he regretted using pipe cement because it took weeks for the, uh, the noxious odors to get out of there. This marine adhesive sealant does not have any odor whatsoever and cures in a matter of 20, 24 to 48 hours. So I'm going to try it like this and see how we go here. All right, so the tank is done. That was fun. <laughs> Messy, because I, you know, I, I wanted to make sure it was sealed good. So not only did I go around the insides with the marine adhesive sealant, I went around all these seams as well. So eight different joints. Got that all nice and sealed all the way around. And there's the other port. That will be the the air supply for me. And this is the charge port for the for the tank itself. So I think the next step, and I don't want to go putting the tote inside here yet. I want to give this time to cure. The next step will be for me to get the tote prepped and ready to go. So I'll get back to you when I get to that point. Alright, so this is PVC board, other known as AZEC. I wanna, this is cut to fit inside the bottom of the tote. That way I have something to mount the pump to. But I'm going to go ahead and clean this up. I've already cleaned the other side. I'm going to use acetone to give it a good rub down. Make sure there's no debris, or not debris, but nasty stuff on there. And it looks like I'll have to do it twice. All right, so now I'm going to get the motor. I'm going to cut some uh, thin foam. This will dampen the noise, like if I have it floating in the water and I'm working underwater. This will dampen the noise that I'm hearing underwater from the pump moving, the vibration. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and cut a piece of that, get the pump over here, and see what I've got to do to mount this. Back in a bit. All right, the next step I did after getting it cleaned, this is the foam I'm going to use. It's really thin stuff. Put some of that same marine adhesive sealant down. And now I'm just going to put this on here. I'll go ahead and press it. And let it cure. All right, about the only other thing I can do right now is drill the hole for the air line that supports the reserve tank. fairly snug. Yep, good. Excellent. There you go. All right, so we're back at it. This pressed overnight. It's all on there nice and good now. And I've already figured out where I want to mount the motor as it's going to be positioned inside the tote. So I've made my marks. I'm going to put this piece right here and then the back the back of the motor will sit right on here. So let's go ahead and do that. And then get the mounter mounted or er, <laughs> mounter mounted. <laughs> the motor mounted. All right.
Okay. Tap that down like so. And put a little bead right here as well. sit on like that Alright, I think now I'm going to uh, get this vent figured out in the lid. So it's in. I just had to very carefully cut around with my razor knife and get it in there. And it does fit on okay, so. There, yeah, got my vent. Heat exhaust. Very cool. Next. I'm not going to be able to float this in water if it's not sealed, at least on the bottom. So, I mean, chances are, I've got 50 feet. I, I bought 100 feet of hose, but I cut it in half to 50 feet. That's way more than what I need. I could put this on shore with what I'm going to be doing. But if I do want to float it in water, which eventually I may, so what I think I'm going to do is um, some, get some fiberglass, sheets of fiberglass, and I'll do the bottom and wrap it up about halfway. Contractor. All so I'm going to take this old uh, juice container mug, whatever you want to call it, and get it positioned just right, which I already have, and mark where I need to cut off the corners, like so. Do all four of those, get it cut. And then go to town, putting the fiberglass resin on. All right, all corners marked. I'm going to use my jigsaw with a fine-toothed blade. That way I don't mar it up too much. All right, that's cut. gaps here all the way around one two three four five six seven eight spots I went with the uh, marine adhesive sealant so I'll let that set overnight and then tomorrow we'll uh, we'll go ahead and put the fiberglass and resin to it see what we can do all right I'm gonna go ahead and get the uh, the pump put inside here All right, following day, last night I came down and put more marine adhesive sealant on the spots that didn't have it, and that's all cured now. So I think the first thing I want to do, I've got the fiberglass mat out of the package. I have to try to figure out how to get that cut just right. All right, everybody, a little update. I decided to scrub the first reserve air tank because, as you saw, I was wrapping it with... Uh, um, that fiberglass and it just looks ugly and of course I try to be a perfectionist and I don't like ugly and I no longer have my orbital sander it decided to die on me so 
I'm just not even going to fart with it. I'll use it temporarily. Reason being because this one I put together with the um, PVC cement. And the gentleman out in um, Australia that did one, he did that and regretted doing so because it took a good three weeks for that noxious fumes to get out of there. Um, I took it out yesterday, just the tote and the pump and the airline and regulator and mask and tested it without the tank and it was a complete success. Now that is not on my channel. It is on Wayne Thornton Sr. It's W-A-Y-N-E-T-H-O-R-N-T-O-N Sr. And the name of the video is Adventures in Prospecting or Vermont Adventures in Prospecting. So go check that out um, and give him a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to his channel, do so because we do go out together and uh, go out on adventures and like he shot this one. So, so what am I this is your first test run, isn't it? Yeah. Keeping an eye on him. If he gets in any trouble, we'll be right in after him. There we go. <laughs> and it's working. He's got it working. See? Breathing good. What he's doing down there, he's looking underneath them big rocks. He kind of looks like he's enjoying what he's doing, to be honest with you. Excellent, excellent. For the first test, it looks like he's going down here underneath these ledges. There's a couple of shiftery plates that cut right through here. And that's what he's been wanting to do is go down and take a look and work these areas a little better. Never know what's hiding in cracks way down there. Really, really cool. Coming up. She gave me the thing, cut it off. That, my friend, was a success story. Good job, Joel. You are, wi oh, I got great footage of you, too. Great footage. You can breathe easy. I mean, really, I don't even need the tank, but the tank is going to pre prevent the motor from overheating. So what I'm going to do is I've got the battery charging right now. Um, I'm going to, as you can see, I've got the, uh, the line hooked up to the pump going out through the hole. I'm going to connect it to the tank, and then I'm going to run it. Once the battery gets charged, I'm going to run it. That's going to do two things. It's going to help to air out the tank. And also, I'll get an idea of how long of a run I can go for on a charge. And I'm really hoping it, it lasts a while. Alright, yeah. got it all hooked up. The time is 4.22. Fire it up. Five twenty-seven. One hour and five minutes later. Still going. All right, so the battery charge lasted an hour and 29 minutes to the minute. Um, so that's not too bad. I went ahead and ordered a secondary battery. All right, so the new tank's done. And I've designed this so that I can take the tote out and put it in, take it out, put it in. I'm not gonna have the tote affixed. That way I can carry stuff easier. 
Um, so what I've done, and of course the bottom, the base is all on, all sealed. And this time I actually preset the screws. They don't even go all the way through this thickness, but it grabs it. So I preset screws here, 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 and here and got that down and sealed those off even though they don't go all the way through and of course like I showed you all the way around is sealed and I've put these pieces in here over here and over here and that so the toe sets right in there nicely and it's absolutely perfect it doesn't move at all left to right front to back came out perfect but so good and of course I put so the battery can be lifted out of here that sits inside totally nested in so that's not going to move around anymore Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Awesome. I'm liking it. There, it's done. Give me a minute here and I'll hook up. I'll take the, everything fits right inside. I think I can even get the mask in here underneath. Um, I didn't put it in, but regulator, 50 feet of line, everything's right inside the tote contained. But give me a second. I'll take that back out. I'll hook that up. And I'll hook the line up to the supply and give you a look at it. And I'm kind of glad. I mentioned early on that I didn't want to tote so high. Well, I'm glad I, I did. I guess it was meant to be because now everything fits inside. Back in a bit. All right, folks, so there's the completed unit. See how the pump supplies the tank, air fills up the tank, comes over, comes out into the supply line. I have 50 feet of air hose designed for diving for hookah setups. My regulator, and of course the unit inside, all contained. I've got foam down there so that the vibration isn't so bad if I should have this floating in the water above me. Um, but the funny thing is, is when, when I tested it without the tank, you could actually hear the motor through the hose. So it, it really doesn't make any difference. Um, I would suggest putting it down if you're going to build one. And then, of course, the vent for air intake and heat exhaust. And like I said in the previous clip, I've got this so that I can take the tote right out, but it does not shift at all. It's perfectly seated in there, so it's not going to vibrate around. But that's it, folks. Now, I'd like to take it out and test it for you, but this replacement tank that I built, I did go ahead and use the... Uh, PVC cement so it's still pretty stinky inside there and I'm not gonna breathe that crap for you guys sorry <laughs> I suppose I could bring that ugly one out and use it but I don't know maybe we'll see and I don't even know if the tote will fit inside there with all that funky stuff around it but anyway, so other than the face mask, which I still have not received my replacement one yet, I'm still using the one that's cracked that they broke in shipping, but it's done. It is done, and I am liking it. So I'll give you guys in the, uh, in the description or maybe in the video after this clip, pictures of all the pieces parts or I don't know what you don't really need pictures there's the PVC tubing 
the 90 degree angles, the tote, the Boyu ACQ 910 pump, the Dakota lithium battery 12 volt 10 amp which gives me an hour and 20 mi 29 minutes so I've ordered another battery um, in the line and everything but I'll just give you the price basically a price list and websites or whatever so there you go folks thanks for watching and as always don't forget to like share comment and subscribe and you might want to ring that bell take care everybody